क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about what is the reaction of amides with acetic anhydride and now in this topic we are going to talk about hoffman elimination reaction so what is it let us talk about in this topic So friends in this topic we are going to talk about hoffman elimination reaction and we understand that is elimination reaction is nothing that is a reaction where we can obtain an alkene or where we can obtain an unsaturated hydrocarbon so the similar reaction that is what i am going to talk about but in terms of an amine so now let me discuss about that is what is the reaction that is hoffman elimination reaction for example we have to consider the reagent that is r ch2 ch2 and here it will be that is nitrogen along with that of r3 and hal that is i so therefore this is nothing but this is an ammonium salt and the name of this is basically known as because there are three alkyl groups that is here there is three alkyl group over here and there is here there is an alkyl group so therefore it makes it to be known as tetra alkyl ammonium iodide or ammonium halide suppose in this case i am taking iodide so let me talk about halide so the reaction proceeds in presence of that is ag2o that is moist ag2o silver hydroxide is the one that would be formed and because of that is this i it would be replaced by oh group and that's the reason that the product that we could get is nothing but r ch2 ch2 here it will be n r3 oh minus and the name of this product is known as this was nothing but tetra alkyl ammonium halide and now this one will be tetra alkyl ammonium hydroxide so the reaction doesn't stops here because we have to give an elimination reaction or we have to produce an alkene or unsaturated hydrocarbon so for that we are hitting the product that is what we have got over here and due to this basically the product that we could obtain here is r ch double bond ch2 along with that of the other byproducts are nothing but r3 n along with that of that is h2 so this is the main product that is what we could get and this is where the beta elimination takes place because this is an alpha carbon atom where this is the beta carbon atom so that's the reason a beta elimination takes place over here and that's the reason we could get an alkene so this is how basically we can obtain an alkene from tetra alkyl ammonium halide so based on this let me give you an example so most friends if we are considering that is c2h5 and suppose if it is attached to nitrogen over here and here it is ch3 thrice and here suppose if i'm including that is iodine as a halogen atom so in this case basically the name of this is basically known as this is ethyl group while this is basically methyl group so that's the reason the name of this is known as ethyl trimethyl ammonium iodide and suppose if it is reacted with moist silver oxide which will produce that is agoh in c2 so that's the reason the product that we could obtain is c2h5 n ch3 thrice OH minus. The name of this product is known as that is ethyl trimethyl ammonium hydroxide. And suppose if we are heating this product, then the product, the main product that we could get is so here will be formation of an alkene, and that is nothing but CH2 double bond CH2 along with that of the other byproducts that are nothing but N CH3 thrice plus H2. So this is the product that we have got, and the name of this product is known as ethene. So this is nothing but Hoffman elimination reaction. So even though we can prepare, this was a symmetrical alkene, but even though we can prepare unsymmetrical alkene by using some different alkyl groups. So that was it. This reaction that I want to talk about. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have got to understand that is what is actually Hoffman elimination reaction. So I hope I will see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.